We're required to uh, remodel every 10 years and upgrade the facilities, you know, and, and lighting and HVAC are part of that. And when we can do that with some help from the Connecticut Energy Efficiency Fund and not spend money out of our own pocket, it's a no-brainer. JK Energy Solutions is an energy services company and we work with facilities to help them reduce the energy consumption in their facility. So we'll walk into a facility and do an assessment and determine what areas we can work on to help them reduce their consumption of electricity or gas. We can actually provide that franchisee a turnkey solution to reduce their energy costs and improve the operating efficiency as well as the comfort of the facility. And more often than not, the aesthetics and the environment are improved at the same time by going with some of the newer uh, high-performing technologies that we utilize in the program. I was a little skeptical because I didn't understand why the CLMP wanted us to use less energy when, when they're supplying it to us. But uh, once they explained it to me, uh, it made perfect sense. I met with the people from JK Energy Solutions for about one hour. They went to all my locations and they completed the audits. They communicated with me on a regular basis. Once they got the approvals back from CLMP, we went ahead and scheduled the work and you know we're here today at our largest unit having the HVAC replaced and all the lighting done. It was smooth and probably the, the biggest challenge was this interview. <laughs> we tell customers all the time, the last thing we want to do is get in the way of them conducting business. We're all about making them more efficient. I joke around all the time about the car wash example because we've done a lot of car washes over the years. We only do car washes when it's raining because that's the only day when they don't have customers. So for Dunkin Donuts, we'll work with the franchisee and the location to understand the best times to operate. Bottom line is that we're going in there cognizant and aware of the fact that we can't impact their daily business. This is the best thing for our customers because we've gone out through a competitive bid process to select contractors who can provide energy efficiency services to these customers to help them so that way they can stay focused on what they do and do best so that way they can make sure that their businesses will continue to be profitable and expand and grow. Well, you we do our initial assessment where we basically do a baseline. Uh, we take down all the information and understand uh, the parameters within the store and the facility, how it's currently operating. Do an analysis and determine what the appropriate upgrades are. These are typically prescriptive upgrades that are designated by the utilities. We then enter them into a proprietary software system that is for review by the utility. The utility will go through it, basically make sure that the energy analysis is correct and accurate and ensure that the customer is going to save money and save energy. Then we're able to go back to the customer and give them both an energy saving summary and a financial summary. So we're able to basically sit down with them, discuss the type of measures that we're going to be doing, explain to them how that saves them energy, and then show them the financial reasoning behind it. When I learned that I could replace all the fixtures with, with brighter, uh, modern looking light fixtures and the new state of the art energy efficient HVAC units and not have to write a check out of my pocket. I mean, just the, the savings in service calls and maintenance costs was big for us. Being able to get re rebates for the HVAC equipment and all the lighting and then have the rest of it be financed at 0% interest through my electric bill, uh, again, it was, an, it was a no-brainer. I couldn't do it fast enough. We all pay into a fund on our electric bill to offset the cost of these projects. So then the net cost of the project after that incentive money is typically then financed through the utility on the electric bill for the customer. So it mirrors what they save every month in energy, so it's like the customer didn't spend any money to do the project. I'll often say to a customer, you can choose to do this or choose not to do it. Either way, you're going to pay roughly the same amount every month on your utility bill, but you can choose to do this project and upgrade your infrastructure, and then at the end of the payback period, when the project is paid for itself, you'll simply be left with a lower utility bill and have an improved infrastructure. Dunkin Donuts has a, has a slogan, America runs on Dunkin, and we just want to make sure that they run more efficiently. <laughs>